<laughs> well, this but should I, be beer. Uh, <laughs> but it's too early. I, I, I like Orangina too. too. Me, uh, Switzerland, <laughs> right? Okay. Is it available in, in Germany too? Yeah, have you had it? This is French? French. I always thought it's I Italian. Is but, it Italian? But that must be yeah, true. Yeah, it, it says French in Japan. I don't know yeah. if it's true, but... It, I always thought it's Italian. Oh, really? But I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. You should know it if you print it. That maybe that's right. Then you know. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's really good. You know the red, the red one? No. In Germany, we have also f uh, we call the it blood orange. Blood orange. Yeah, oh, it's very Italian. It's yeah. really nice. It's even oh. better than this one. Oh, I want to try. I, I like uh, blood orange a lot. Import it and get rich. <laughs> 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 Good stuff, yes. It's a democracy. Okay, so, okay, then shall we start? Now? Sure. Okay, mm -hmm. so I, I've heard you like uh, Japanese food a lot. Oh, so, yes. So, you, so did you try sushi? Oh, yeah. Time? I really like sushi. Mm. All kinds. Oh, cool. Even sea urchin once in a while. Oh, sea urchin, I love it too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really good. The first time you eat it, it's a little bit strange. But it is. If you, I like it. Not. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's <laughs> really strong and oh, it's stinky. Mm. I like it, man. Yes. Mm. And, and uh, shabu shabu and all that stuff. Oh, it's shabu great, shabu is great too. man. Yeah, I have good cooks here. Mm. And take a lot of care about the food. It's different in Germany. The people don't spend so much money for food. Really? No. Uh, mm. Cheap bastards. They eat a lot of frozen pizza stuff and mm. junk bullshit they don't take care so much about food so yeah mm. Jap Japan is so you spend much more money on beer and mm -hmm. Japan food it, it has to be quick in Germany you know? it has to be quick mm. yeah a lot of people are too lazy to cook themselves mm. so they eat that some time to cook but yeah they yeah like it. but I'm not like that mm. I like to cook myself. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's yeah. It's fun for me and relaxing. Oh, really? Yeah, I like it. Is, is it okay for the, the, the image of destruction for this interview? Is, is, huh? is it okay? Is it okay? Is it to the image for destruction like you like? Yeah. Cooking? Is it okay? It's okay, I okay. guess. Yeah. Uh, be great. To to cook is it's like art, you know. Yeah, it is. Definitely. I think so. Definitely. So I take care about it's healthy food and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so and I have a Japanese knife at home. Oh, the hoch hocho. Yeah, I like hocho. man. It's oh, it good <laughs> knives you have mm. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you you cook a lot. Uh huh. That's great. If I have time, I mm. enjoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about some music. Yeah. So when when you studied destruction, which bands, you know, made you to you know made you decide to play? that kind of music. Who, who was your influence? You know, uh, I started to, I wanted to play guitar when I saw Richie Blackmore oh, on really? TV, mm. Purple, Black mm. Sabbath and that mm. stuff. I wanted to get like these guys and then I started to practice really, you know. Mm. I, I had a guitar at home since I was 10 years old or something, mm. but it was a big Spanish one mm. and my hands was too small. Mm. So I tried to play it when I was 10 years old, but it was not. I was, I, mm. The fingers still hurt and it was too big. Mm. But then I was like 12, 13, mm. I tried again. My hands was big enough then. And then I saw those guys, Hendrix, all those old classic rock stuff, you know. Mm. And I did really like it. And I, then I really started to practice a lot, mm. really a lot. Mm. Like eight hours a day, and shit like that. Eight hours. Yeah. Yeah, because you, your riffs are totally different from any other stuff. Like Maybe that's because I never had a teacher. Mm. But yeah, I found out all the notes by listening mm. and watching. But I never had like a theory teacher or something like that. Mm. You know, just books and and, and stuff. You know. Mm. That makes it maybe more personal. I'm not sure about that, mm. you know. Especially the riffs of, of like, you know, the best tell invasion. It's mm. so amazing. But Probably it's the that, best. that's stolen. Stolen? Yeah. From, from, from I don't tell you. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's, it's, uh, uh, 
uh, Megadeth, Rattlehead. Mm. All the fast notes was like an influence. And I tried to play that Megadeth song and adapted it somehow. Mm. Of course, it's different. I always try to make it not too obvious, but yeah. everybody steals. Yeah, it, it, more or less. Yeah. You, you can't, you know, make a music from zero. So yeah, otherwise it's maybe jazz or the too too jazzy. Then and the people you can do it totally different, mm -hmm. but nobody wants to hear it. Then maybe you know, mm. it's too maybe then too complicated or not there. The harmonies everybody prefers, you know, mm. and then nobody wants to listen to that stuff. So you have to follow some some rules. Mm. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is great. I didn't know that. Yeah, that one of the mystery to me because I've never heard the riffs like that. Mm -hmm. So I have been wondering for 30 years. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I try to do it like a little different from everybody. Yeah, of course. Because nobody can tell it. Mm, yeah. Because it should be interesting, you know, and if you redo the same shit over and over, it's boring. Even to play it, it's then, mm. then it's boring, kind of. I like to be unique. You know, yeah, I that, try. Actually, the, the best Soul Invasion and Rattlehead are on the same records, Speed Kills. Mm, but yeah. still, nobody would Nobody notice. recognizes, no, nobody. right? Yeah, yeah, then I did a good job then. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's been almost 30 years since Sentence of Death yes. was released. Yes. Now, looking back to the past, what do you think of that EP? Yeah, yeah, I was really young at that time. I mean, mm. had no clue about recording and stuff mm. like that. So we was a li little bit lost in the studio. We had to trust the producer. Mm. And there was a little... Mm, I was nervous and shit like that, mm. you know. Your first yeah, recording. Yeah, and mm, like kids, you know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the same thing. And then you get though. told, play like that, do like that, and mm. okay. But then the next time, we, oh, there was a little bit more routine then and mm. more mm, confidence, something like that. But the first time was really. Uh, Strange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's always not easy if you have no clue. You have to yeah. trust other people, you know. So yeah, and, uh, well, it was a necessary experience. Everybody has to mm. has to do, you know. Mm. And uh, we, I just did play guitar like for four years. Mm. Uh, it's like not so long, you know, you're not so sure about what you're doing. Mm. So we had luck, maybe. <laughs> that people like that noisy yeah, stuff, still, you know. Still, mm. there are so many people who love Sentence of Death. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's kind of fresh and stuff, and you know, that's why maybe, yeah. It's not perfect, I know. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's. It's still perfect in the other way. It's perfect as a thrash metal album thing. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of pretty rude. Yeah, it is. And, and brutal, brutal and, and brutal, stuff yeah. like that. That's what the people didn't like, you know. Sure. And the, there are two different album artwork for Sentence of yeah. Why is that? The uh, Americans didn't like the German. That it was, really? was too pink for them. Mm. Too pinkish. So they put out the green shit, you know. I oh. don't like it so much. But really? Yeah, they want it different. Mm. Mm. So who wrote the lyrics for the album? Shmir or you? Me, Shmir, and we had a friend in Switzerland. He helped us out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But mainly Shmir and me. Tommy did also. Oh, he did too. Yeah. You can see the total disaster has a the great lyrics like I don't believe in Jesus Christ, it's mm. alright because Satan is my teacher. Yes. That's one of the best lyrics ever in <laughs> Fashmel history. Which right? is not really true. <laughs> I don't believe in Satan. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe in God. 
I don't know nothing about it. Nobody does, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so better shut up. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand religious people. Mm. I don't yeah, get it. Uh, yeah, because in Japan, I'm kind of religious, but it has to be more personal. Unique. Oh yeah, not not like Godfather with a beard mm. and shit like that. Nobody knows if Jesus lived mm. and stuff like that, you know. Mm. He's not in the books. Mm. He should be there. They, 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 they had crucified. books about who was crucified and shit, and he's not there. Mm. So maybe yeah. it's just a, a nice story for weak people, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, it helps the people to, to get happy, then it's okay. Mm. But if they pray and about <laughs> something they don't know, and pay money and pay situation. money and say you go to hell if you don't believe <laughs> what I say that's sick yeah, it sorry it's sick. Right. and lately I've found it really really so silly the Pope thing you heard oh, about yeah. uh, the German Pope and his last fucking speech everybody went to fucking Rome and behave like fucking idiots <laughs> why you do that they don't have no brain definitely, definitely. Yeah, but in, in Japan, nobody believes in Jesus Christ. So Which is cool. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It if you believe in nature, that's something different. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. That's maybe something bigger. Mm. Who knows that? So mm. respect is always good. Respect for the nature, for everything. But not like that childish way. You know? yeah, yes. Bible bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. And if you talk about the Bible, there's two books, right? The Old Testament and the new one. And that's totally opposite. Yeah, you're right. It's totally it's sick. Total con contradiction. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a minor thing, but total disaster. Why only disaster is in German? This, is, this might be a bit stupid question. Disaster spells out in German way. Disaster. Disaster. Yeah. In, in English, it, it's D I. S A S T E R. Uh huh. So we disaster. D E. It's it's German. German word, I think. Maybe we didn't know better. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should, probably nobody we should have checked the fucking book and yeah, but we did. We did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We was really young and our English was really shit. <laughs> it's still not good. <laughs> but that that time I was really the school English, German school English. It's not use you can't use it really no but i have an impression that germ you know german is a complicated version of english but that's true <laughs> yeah english <laughs> is, a, is a bastard out of german and french yes and a little scandinavian mm, also yes. because of the history sure mm. it's cheap german i say yeah mm. yeah yeah german is pretty complicated yeah, yeah it is I, I, I learned german a few years when I was a cool. student, but it's totally, you know, the, impossible to. Yeah, that there's not. There's. You have rules, but many things don't. Are out of that rule, yeah, it's a lot of ending of words and shit mm -hmm. like that, and the articles. That's complicated. Yeah, it's a dust them dust them. Yeah, yeah, totally you have to different. learn it like that. There's no fucking rule about that. It's just yeah. <laughs> And the verbs split like you know, out, out something just it's split like mm -hmm. come comes in the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Like it's totally totally crazy to me. So. It's crazy, yeah, yeah. But if you grew up on it, it's <laughs> yeah, you you yeah. Actually, totally Japanese easy. is much more you know, complicated. Uh, but we when you you know when we grow up, we learn it, so it's alright. Yeah. But yeah, you have hard job. You have to learn three fucking. Uh, Yes. Kind of letters, letters. Just, which is boo. Yeah, it's crazy. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's good training for your brain, it looks like. Mm. Yeah? yeah. Smart people you have in Japan. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay, so so how was the reaction to Centers of Death and maybe Infernal Overkill? That was mixed up. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. A lot of people found it was too noisy, mm. too punkish. Mm. A lot of people thought it's just fucking noise. Because yeah, in in Japan, a major magazine called it like a 
road construction noise or something and Thrash mm -hmm. fans were totally angry because they mm -hmm. just don't understand what real music is. So, mm -hmm. so, you know, there are always some stupid people who mm -hmm. don't understand the real... On the other hand, if you're not used to that stuff and you hear it the first time, mm -hmm. maybe it's a little bit strong, you know? Too strong for some... Maybe, people. yeah, yeah. And these days, a lot of there was a lot of classic rock fans mm -hmm. and British wave of metal fans, so for them it's a little bit... Mm -hmm. Too tough, maybe. Mm -hmm. You can understand that. You have to get used to it. Mm -hmm. That's all. Then uh, talking about punkish, yeah. destruction. I think destruction always has a very metal image. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, you covered the plasmatics, yeah. exploited. Yeah. So, so you like hardcore punk. Oh, you have a big punk fan still. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, GPH and stuff, yeah. discharge and all that. Mm -hmm. so, my my girlfriend that time she was punk. Mm -hmm. So there was a great punk club in the city she lived mm -hmm. and I was like there every every day mm -hmm. and watched all that punk bands. And so you liked the, the UK punk bands? Also GPH for the States. Mm -hmm. all, all that ex exploited. We played the show with exploited oh. at that club I always been you know. Mm -hmm. It was funny and, and uh, what he, he asked me for playing guitar for Exploited, mm -hmm. but I said no. I, I do destruction, baby. <laughs> exploited. <laughs> oh, if, 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 if I would join Exploited, I will be dead in five years. Mm -hmm. They're so tough. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So, how was German hardcore? Did, did you like any bands like in Inferno and Sperm Birds? And yes, sure, sure. Destruction played German hardcore bands too? No. 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 Didn't fit so well, so mm. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> they didn't want to mix it up. So. Mm. There was plans about doing a tour with Exploited. Oh. But then uh, yeah, maybe it was too punk fans and, and metal fans maybe don't come along, so mm, I'm not sure. I like the punk. <laughs> no, I like the punk rock too. Yeah. So, mm. Mm -hmm. so um, do you know that um, here in Japan, Destruction Model Leather Jacket was once released? Really? Yeah. Never heard about it. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Because it's uh, the, the, the photo on the, the sentence of death, the mm -hmm. all three are in leather jacket and bullet belt. That was legendary. Uh -huh. uh, so it's uh, even the, the destruction model was that's once sold here. That's cool. Oh. Uh -huh. So are, are you into leather jacket stuff? Or mm. Mm, once in a while I wear it, mm. but I, it's not so comfy, you know. I, mm. But on stage, sure, it's a must, you know. And leather, cool. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what did you think of the band Necronomicon? They totally sounded like Destruction. That's good friends of us. Oh, cool. They live in the same area. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And in the beginning, there was a punk band. Necronomicon? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Cool punk band, and then they... Maybe they listened to us, and they changed... Yeah, the obviously. Bit. Yeah. We're kind of neighbors. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I, I like their... All the albums a lot. Indeed. Oh yeah, yeah. cool guys. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, what about Poltergeist from Switzerland? Also good friends. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the guy, the guitar player of Poltergeist, he owns a studio now in Switzerland, oh. where we recorded. Uh, oh, let me think. We recorded. Metal Discharge oh, at his studio, mm -hmm. VO Pulver. Mm -hmm. Now he has a band named Gerd. Heard about it? Gerd. G U R D, like drug. Gerd. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's still active. So. Oh, great. Cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's talk about Eternal Devastation. Mm -hmm. I think the Eternal Devastation has the best guitar tone in the metal history. What was it intentional? That was the producer. Producer. Yeah, he mm. wanted it like that. Did you like it? For me, it's a little too sharp. Yeah, it's extremely sharp. Yeah, 
I, I still like it. It's mm -hmm. it's unique. It is. Yeah. There's, there's no other album that has the same sound. Yeah, but it's really sharp. You have to get used to it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, really sharp and, mm -hmm. and thin, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but something special. So it is. Mm -hmm. So because when I heard the the, the re release from Agony, the guitar tone was totally different. So I wondered why. So but you, so you didn't like the the tone of the first station. The I did like, but. I wanted it more fat, you know. Mm. You so. preferred the heavier, yeah. fatter sound. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's even easier to play if you have a little bit okay. more fat. You don't have to take care about every note. You know, you can do more. I don't know. Yeah, mm. it's a different feeling if you have fatter sound. I like it better. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the eternal devastation was out on CD. CD for the first time, yeah. the hi hat count is was on. What was that? It's a mistake. They really been sleeping at the studio. They didn't cut it right. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> yeah, it sounded pretty strange yeah. to the fans when you were used to the LP version. Yeah, yeah, that was like somebody didn't do his job right. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. you cut it out again later. I'm not sure. Yeah, the Axe Killer version, the, the, the later version of CD, had uh -huh. no count. So okay, okay. So it's that, that's know, the right one. I don't listen to my own stuff so <laughs> yeah. often. That's why I don't know so much mm. about their special different versions, you know. Mm. But the, the one we, without count is the right one. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. See. Mm -hmm. So have you ever thought of having a side project or a solo project besides Destruction? Mm. You know, I like to play around my computer at home, you know. Mm -hmm. But the stuff I do there is maybe too strange for everybody. <laughs> well, <a couple laughs> if stuff I, is if I would bring it out, they'd think, oh, what happened to Mike? <laughs> I also do like pop stuff just to, to check out sounds and stuff. I have a like, really good program, mm -hmm. like sonar you know like really good stuff and uh, all the effects and uh, mm. i like to play around that and check out everything even classical uh, orchestra programming and stuff like that but i uh, would bring it out people think oh what happened to him he's not well. metal anymore and stuff <laughs> like that maybe it's too dangerous but one one day maybe yeah maybe yeah well, i want to hear it i collect every bullshit and one day it uh, maybe bring it out if somebody wants to bring it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm working. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Then, um, early disruption influenced a lot on black metal. Mm -hmm. like, like, oh, yeah, the yeah. Venom kind of wave was yeah, like really. So, yeah, the, the Norwegian band took some ideas from yeah. from you guys. Like, yeah. But when I talked to Justin from Godflesh, ex Napalm Death, yeah. he told me Destruction was one of the biggest influence. Everybody, it's a yeah. lot of people. Yesterday, Gene Hoagland told me he learned playing drums on Destruction songs. Oh, really cool. Not just Destruction, but also Destruction mm -hmm. songs. And Death Angel, they told me he had uh, been at our first show in 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 in, his, uh, in, in, in the states in 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 San Francisco. Was it you toured with Voivod or? Yeah. Or no, 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 with a. Uh, with the Chromax 88. Oh, Chromax. Everybody was there and everybody liked it. So, mm -hmm. surprise, surprise, mm -hmm. that they come and watch German band, you know? Yes. Yeah, of course. I know Disruption has a huge influence on thrash bands and, of mm -hmm. course, black metal bands. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of surprising, even on Grindcore. Yeah. So, you influenced. Ed. And, uh, even Chuck Schuld, you know, he, oh, yeah. he sent it as his first demo. Oh. And he did the cover version of Curse the Gods there. Oh. It's a big honor for me, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, you know? we've really been surprised. You know, we, we, we traded demos with the Americans, mm -hmm. and have yeah, really surprising that they wanted to listen to us. Mm -hmm. You know, I always thought the Americans are better musicians and stuff like that. In the beginning, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, we yeah, are more perfect. They had a teacher. They maybe they have more clue about theory and stuff like that. Mm. So I was surprised they like our stuff. Mm. So what, what do you think about the German scene in the 80s? Like like Creator, Sodom and 
very, you know, I mean, in the very beginning. Like, yeah, it was the tough time, you know. That was really the bit. Everybody thought, yeah, hey, this crazy, crazy <laughs> yeah. noise and, and yeah, but that's why we love. You know, yeah, yeah, we did. We didn't listen to the people, you know. And we knew each other since the beginning. Mm. Saw them creator, you know. Mm. And it was like a club. We've been sure about what we, what we do, and didn't listen to much at all there. Mm. The, Soft course. <laughs> what they tell. Sometimes you have to ignore and do what you like. That's what we did. And now mm. I'm glad. Yeah, but it's strange. Why only in Germany? Because if, if, you know, France they don't have a lot of thrash metal bands, but only in Germany there are so many great thrash metal bands. That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the Germans are angrier than the French, mm, you know. More frustrated. More, yeah. Mm. Maybe because of the weather also. Weather. Yeah, cold, raining, and raining, foggy and shit. Mm. And they're more happy in, in France and they're more like, in Italy, Dolce Vita, you know, they're a little lazy, they like the sun and do nothing. The Italy. Germans are a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, thanks. So. That's why maybe, yeah. Mm mentality thing maybe not sure mm. but now everybody gets angry <laughs> <laughs> even, in, even in Italy <laughs> even <more> there <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so any plan for Die Hard special version of Ali Destruction albums with lots of bonus tracks or something like that bonus tracks yeah with uh, you know Die Hard version of Ali Destruction stuff like Infernal Overkill triple CD or any plan? Not really yet. No. Yeah. One day, maybe like an anniversary, like mm. I don't know. Depends what the record label wants. No, oh, always. So, what can we expect for tonight's show? So, you, I, I, I've seen the set list. You're gonna play Satan's Vengeance. I think mm -hmm. it's quite rare. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, thought about bringing in some old stuff and then mm. we tried a few songs and this one was like cool to play I like to play it it's it's I like the ending it's kind of mm. bluesish and oh yeah we had fun playing that song mm. right right from the beginning so we took it you know mm. and we had to play like uh, last uh, winter we had to we played the uh, thrash classics tour mm -hmm together with uh, Sepultura and uh, Exodus mm. and Heathen and they wanted us to play old stuff that's why it's called Thrash Classics mm. you know so we had to bring old stuff mm. and, and, and yeah it was fun oh, okay. mm -hmm. so, so do, you, do you have any plan to play uh, Invisible Force? I think that is one of the best songs ever so. we, we play it uh, once in a while. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But it's hard to play all songs that people like, then mm -hmm. we play three hours and it's we are too old for that. <laughs> so we play it once in a while. Really? Yeah. If possible, could you play it? We played it in, in the States. Ooh, oh. we didn't practice. Well, it's, it's, it's alright. <laughs> yeah. We could play it, but then it's not good enough, you know, mm -hmm. mistakes and shit. Better practice before. I can't remember all songs I wrote. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay, so could you give a message to the Japanese fans if possible? Oh, I just can say I love to come here mm. and just stay as you are. You fucking rock and you're really nice people. I really like you're so friendly here and I really like to come here and, and, and play for Japanese people. They, they seem to like it and I like to make people happy so yeah, yeah. everybody laughs when you have a happy face and yeah. that's cool yeah okay so just stay as you are and mm. rock and roll okay cool okay thank you very much you're so welcome thank you very much yeah my pleasure <laughs>